Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pokemon. I'm Karamaku. And I'm Doom Dragon. <laughs> Careful, you might accidentally run into one and not yeah. pick the one that you want. Oh, that's true. I only did like eight spins, you fucking pussy. No, you did like um, 36 in the last <laughs> episode. Oh, but, okay, I guess you're not picking your Pokemon. <laughs> oh, okay, we're gonna make them. Uh, but yeah, we have to, this is where we pick our starter. I'm gonna go with the fire type because I always pick fire types. As much as I like that cat, I think it's good to go with the fire type because you can just get grass types fucking anywhere oh jesus what what just happened the quality dropped all of a sudden uh, i guess i'll see it in editing i don't know what it was like you can see it in a shadow everything became all pixie oh shit yeah wait hang on can i check something real quick yeah go ahead sorry okay yeah we're all good um yeah so the the weird i guess uh the, should i just put it on the counter one that's like one of the first bugs I don't know if I'd count it as a bug. Maybe it was because of the cutscene I got into. Uh, the, the, the burning hot sparks that scatters what will fry any and all plants in a flash. I also like fire types because they have a fairly high attack stat. But yeah. Also, I think he evolves into a fire ghost type or a fire dark type or something like that. I saw a candle on his head. What? I was watching someone else play it, and at some point you can put, like, you could sprinkle the glitter on him and he gets a candle. Candelabra, whatever. Oh, the terrestrializing. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with a fire type. Man, it took oh. you a second to get what I was talking about. Well, you just said sprinkles glitter and then a candle appears on his head. That, fuck, that means fucking nothing. It's Pokemon. It means everything. <laughs> Would you like to give Flakoko a name? No. No, wait! No. I don't nickname my Pokemon. I want to. You can nickname all the others. Uh, okay. Okay. Because I have an idea of, like, the team that I want to set up. He's just chewing on my arm and hanging from it. <laughs> He's doing that thing Midnight did to you last night that really hurt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to punt that cat. He already tried to steal the powdered sugar. We were about to have an evaporated milk incident again. Powdered milk. Whatever. Evaporated milk is a liquid. What? <laughs> Fue Coco seems to have taken quite a liking to you, Master Ash. This is your first Pokemon, yes? Please raise it with love and care. And, of course, be sure to keep it tucked safely inside a Pokeball. No. <gasps> okay, fine. I guess I will. Um, Ash, I can't believe you actually chose Fue Coco. Fucking stupid. I mean, like, way to make the perfect choice for you. You two make such a good combo. There's no wonder there's so much porn of you. Can I choose one of the Pokemon 2, Director? Do you not want me to get the other one? I have, like, 24 Cocos inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the Academy, Miss Nimona? So you're trying to cheat. I want more! <laughs> Not back then, no. I had other Pokemon I was focused on raising at the time. But now I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside Ash while he uh, raises his own new partner. You see, I'm the kind of person that thinks that if I just keep bringing in more pets, it'll make my life happy. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if the Paldean Tauros is a dirty reference. What? I'll tell you after this. This is not an appropriate thing to discuss on the channel, but like... If you remember to tell me. Okay. Indeed. A rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing with Master Ash here, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! And she's gonna pick Quaxley. No, she's gonna pick the cat. Wait, seriously? Since oh. Ash chose Foy Coco, I'll go with this little one. Wait, really? Nice to meet you! Pregatito. Yeah, that one! Welcome to the team! <laughs> huh. Okay. Yeah, you see what I mean by no one chooses the fucking duck? <laughs> because, like, normally they pick the one that's strong against you, not the one that's weak. You're the one who's been saying Pokemon's been getting easier. That's true. All right, then. Yay. Yeah. Now that we've chosen our Pokemon, we have to battle. Do you? I mean, you have class in, like, five minutes. I just... I'll be waiting for you down at the beach. Come join me when you're ready to... Yeah, wait. no. Fuck schedules, am I right? She decks him in the face. <laughs> well, uh, I guess I'm just, stuck with the duck. I guess it's just me and this sexually promiscuous duck here. You, as you may have noticed, Miss Nimona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling. Beat it out of her ash! 
But I do hope you'll join her for a battle. It will help to get you to know your own Pokemon as well. Thanks for coughing in the middle of my sentence. I'm sorry, this room is hot. Yeah, if so you weren't under a fucking comforter. I think cutscenes just have a lower quality than just the normal running around. Okay. Wait, hang on, I do want to... <coughs> Auto heal feature will automatically select items from your bag and use them to heal your Pokemon. No! No! Pain, fragile, oh! No! <laughs> No. Man, you have none. Well, yeah, no shit. The only um, thing you have is a weird uh, two-legged croco. Shut up. Also, we got a uh, we got a code when we bought this game. Oh, right. We forgot to put the code in. I don't know how we put the code in. Uh, it, it had, like, a thing that tells us how to do it. Uh, um. Let's see. Launch the game at the menu. Press X. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll do it after this like uh after this recording session we'll do it next time we sit down to record okay i'm trying to do a thing but i guess i'll do it later go kick that I bitch's ass because there's a thing you can do where like your pokemon runs around with you but i don't know how to do it no 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 i'm this game yeah there is <laughs> it's how you literally have to have that feature enabled to evolve certain pokemon in this game well, damn, she is like a foot taller than me. Yeah, that's why I said she's way older than you. God damn. God damn. No, we're not doing this. Just get. <laughs> anyone can. can anyone. <laughs> anyone can be a Pokemon trainer as long as they have the uh, Pokemon by their side. Every 60 seconds in America, a minute passes in Africa. <laughs> 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 You're a fucking idiot. That's exactly what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what she just did. And it's our duty as trainers to help a Pokemon grow stronger through battle. <laughs> so are you ready to battle me, dumbass? <laughs> <laughs> I defy you to tell me that that's not exactly what she just fucking did. Oh. Miss Nimona! He, like, throws a rock at her. Throws the duck at her. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you to remember that Ash is wholly inexperienced in Pokemon battling. Ah, oh, god damn it, you called me fucking oh, shit. I was trying to kick, kick the shit out of this kid. No, like, yeah, to... You know when you play Mortal Kombat, you don't tell the other person how to do the X move? That's what this is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, whoops. Good call, director. Also, fun fact, in every Pokemon game, there's something in the game that references something else in the next game. Like, in one game, there was totem poles, and that referenced the next game, which was set in Hawaii, and there were, like, totem-style Pokemon, um, and so on and so forth. So, I do wonder if there's going to be a thing in this game. Uh, it's going to be obscure as shit. Like, literally, the thing in the last game that referenced this game was a wallpaper in, an un in an, a room you couldn't get into that was grapes and oranges. <laughs> like, it's fucking impossible. Uh, fruit. <laughs> <laughs> like, those umbrellas! That's the reference! The next game is sunny and rainy. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to send out... Uh... I was about to send out one of my usual partners right off the bat. Yes, I'll take Here's a bat! Yes, I'll take this chance to try out my new buddy instead. Yeah, I forgot I chose this dumbass fucking... weed cat. Oh, why does the director have to show up right now? <laughs> <laughs> fucking bitch. Come on, Ash! Let's let's have a fruitful battle! Ah, uh, fruit, get it? You get it? Fruit, no. get it? No. Huh? You get it? You get fruit? Bonnie, okay. it's fruit. Because they're schools, it's an orange. Can you we are fight? challenged by Pokemon trainer Pneumonia. Can we fight Team Star, whatever they're called? No, I want Team Skull. I want people to break dance in the middle of a battle. They're in a different region. Damn it. They're also not villains. They're not villains, but we can still kick their ass. Is it okay if I just skip through the tutorial shit? Can I do that? Yeah, go ahead. I don't care, because I'm not going to be the one playing. Burn I've, the shit out of this fucking cat. I'm going to set him on fire. <laughs> because, like... <laughs> Super fucking effective. What is the starting grass type attack? You must have been steadying up. Smart move. Fire is strong against Shut grass. Shut up! <laughs> 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 
I don't know. I actually don't know what the starting because the starting fire type move is always Ember, and then the starting water type move is always Water Gun. <laughs> Smart move. Dead Pokemon can't battle. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I need more training. <laughs> I actually don't know what the starting attack is for um, Grass types. Oh man, he really kicked my ass. I think it's Absorb. Wow, well, not bad, neighbor. <laughs> Guess I have to give you three hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> yen, so that's like three bucks. So what? It's three hundred dollars here. <laughs> Look at you winning your first battle ever. You fucking asshole! <laughs> <laughs> she just loses her shit. <laughs> She's got a real bad temper problem. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you won, like with gritted teeth. She's got one of those, like, squishy toys that helps her calm down and she breaks it. <laughs> you got even more potential than I thought. You're gonna be a strong trainer for sure. Now I better leave before I kick your ass and take your heart. But, <laughs> but now I want to try a different strategy. Let's go again. Just one more battle. You're gonna cheat and use, like, Jesus Christ Superstar. I'll be careful with her if I were you. She, <laughs> last week she caught a legendary. She might throw throw him out right now. <laughs> <laughs> she sends out Arceus. <laughs> Wait, uh, who are the two Pokemon gods that are fighting constantly? <laughs> because Groudon and Kyogre are always fighting. Dialga and Palkia are fighting fairly often. Um, you know what? Screw it. I don't care. She sends out Darkrai. Darkrai is cool. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking from the ones of that movie. That's Pocky and Dialga. Yeah, those two. I, I like those. <laughs> okay, cool. It's the only, one of the only Pokemon movies I've ever seen besides Celebi. It's one of my favorite Pokemon movies. The first Pokemon, the Pokemon movie 1000 is probably my favorite movie. Uh, it's actually one of my top five favorite movies because it made me cry. Master Ash and his Flaycoco are surely weary for already from that last battle. Is that wave in his hair supposed to be an eyebrow? Run! <laughs> uh, sorry, I kind of, I got kind of caught up in the excitement. Oh well. I mean, Here, let me make it up to you. She just grabs you and kisses you. <laughs> Put your hair in a ponytail. There! Now it won't <laughs> get in your face! You better watch out. This girl freaky deaky. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Ash. Same to your for Coco, too. Don't worry about Let's battle again soon. Let me kick your little grass cat's ass again. Oh, definitely. We'll definitely battle more. Okay. Why is that hot? <laughs> you two seem to be becoming fast friends. Though you've only just met, and it's kind of weird that you're bonding this fast, but whatever. You also just moved into the neighborhood. So, yeah, you know, he doesn't really have a frame of reference for how people should act. Can I count on you to take care of, take your new schoolmate here under your wing this mid the moment with the... It's having another stroke! I'm sure he could learn a great deal from a champion-raked trainer such as yourself. You bet, sir! Yay! Oh, that reminds me. Since you're new to training Pokemon, there's an app you definitely need. You have a smartphone, right? Wow, you're poor. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see it for a sec. Wow, your photos are um interesting. As in, you have none. <laughs> <laughs> You've had this phone for five minutes. Why are there already dick pics on it? <laughs> the Pokédex will automatically register any Pokémon you catch. Yay! It's a must-have for Pokémon trainers. Stop yelling at me! <laughs> it's a super handy app. Our homeroom teacher, Miss. They're fucking shit. I'm it's terrible. Jacques, Jacques. <laughs> actually made it himself. Mr. Jacques. <laughs> Back in my day, we used ordinary paper and handwritten notes to compile our Pokédexes. Fucking kids these days built soft as shit with pussies. <laughs> the fuck was that noise? <laughs> uh, it's quite the age we live in now. I'll be dead soon. I'm building a time machine to go back in time to the comfort days. <laughs> Ugh, filling up Pokédexes by hand? I can't even imagine how much work that would take. Yeah, because you're lazy! <laughs> <laughs> no, I suppose you can't, you spoiled little bitch. I am spoiled, aren't I? <laughs> Yet no matter how much the times may change, the wonder of meeting that new Pokémon never does. No matter how much the times have changed, I'll never forget that I did indeed catch them all. I would love to live in the Pokemon universe, just like cat. Didn't like I wouldn't even be a trainer. I would just be a dude who catches Pokemon. Didn't you just say for this funsies. about? Didn't you say this about Slime Rancher? Yeah. 
oh wait, Pokemon. That's another <laughs> game where like it doesn't suck to be like not the main character. Yeah, no, Pokemon is a universe where like if you're just a regular ass person, it's fucking awesome. Yeah, considering the main character could come along who's un not prepared for your area, you can kick the shit out of him and get a fucking payday. And in, and if the main character wins, you don't have to pay him as much. That's the thing I was talking about. I, was like, I think that only counts if you're a trainer, which you have to be like, I don't know how it works. But like, you can't just be like a regular dude and beat somebody in a Pokemon battle and like hey, get shit. Or maybe you can. Sally from down the street would like to battle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the more Pokemon that you encounter, the more you'll find yourself growing and changing. I'm sorry, it's your fucking eyes. Oh, Jesus Christ. I feel so much better. Do you, though? Oh, yes. Please read your line. I hope you will both work hard towards the goal of completing your own Pokedexes. Now, Miss Pneumonia, I do still have a few matters to discuss with your parents. Such as your public nudity offense. Could I depend on you to see Master Ash to the Academy? You would be doing me quite the favor. I shouldn't have gotten that offense. It was body paint. <laughs> <laughs> it's art. Twitch says so. <laughs> of course. Leave it to me. Then I leave him in your capable hands. All right, little one. It's time you and I were on our way. You weren't chosen again this week. And since this is the fifth time of not being chosen, you know what that means. <laughs> Gets out a needle. <laughs> and that duck was never seen again. <laughs> so you want to help me with something in my room? It'll only... How good are you with a paintbrush? I have a, I have a statement that I want to show to the world. <laughs> Maybe I ought to be a little a little more... Uh, make a little more time. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe I ought to make a little more time this week. Uh... Uh, uh, to work on my Pokedex along with uh, all of my battling. Good job. Yes, I know. I read too fast for my own good. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right. Speaking of Pokedexes, Ash, you probably never caught a wild Pokemon, right? You Stop rubbing it in! You fucking pleb. <laughs> I'll show you the ropes before I take you to the Academy. Come on! This is... I think this is actually something I might have to pay attention to because they, like, change... Uh, this is our first open world game on the channel, by the way. Oh, it is. Uh, which means this game is going to take us forever to beat. Which also means we're not going to do it all at once. We're going to do, like, a few weeks of it, and then we'll take a break and do other stuff. Uh, mostly because we feel like, one, that's better for us so we don't get burnt out on it, and two, we feel like that'll be more enjoyable for you guys to watch. Where'd she uh, go? Oh, She's down there. We just jump from the very top of the stairs and come down on her. My like, mom just grabbed her. She's like, why have you done by my side? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ash. Hey, Ma. I hear the pneumonia? 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 Pneumonia. Pneumonia. I said pneumonia earlier because I was thinking of pneumonia. <laughs> the, the, I was thinking of the illness. Yeah, I know. I was like, I, I heard it. I didn't say anything. Uh, Nimona here will be taking you to school. I actually kind of want to play Sword and Shield because apparently... Or it's Sword and Shield or Arceus where, like, to catch Pokemon, you literally just throw Pokeballs at them in the wild. And just pray. <laughs> <laughs> Which sounds awesome. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. I don't want to is the thing. Uh, so you, you've already managed to make a friend? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say we're friends. Well, shit. And I read all... I read about all the wonderful teachers you'll uh, you'll have looking after you at school. Plus, so many handy faci uh, facilities you can use as much as you like. A add in your new friend, what's her face, and it it sounds it sounds like your school life is shaping up to be fantastic. Sounds like you don't need your mom anymore. Wow. Oh God! <laughs> wow. Seems like I don't need to keep you in my house anymore. <laughs> <laughs> now you'll be staying in the... Oh, right! <laughs> That's exactly what she's saying. <laughs> you'll be staying in the school dorm, so so I want you to promise you'll eat proper meals. No. Here's a bit of spending money to start you off with. Uh, I also packed a lunch for your first day. Enjoy it, because you're not getting any more from me. You've obtained the sandwich from mom. The sandwich of mom. God damn it, that's dumb. 
Oh. A dish made by sandwiching vegetables, meat, and other ingredients between two pieces of bread and makes fantastic meal on the picnic. Do you know about the sandwich system in this game? It's the sandwich system. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a system where you make sandwiches. It's its whole. It's its a whole thing. All right. Oh, and maybe you better take these too. Thanks, mom. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <clears throat> I'm not gonna need it because I'm good at the game. Use them on that little, uh, that precious little partner of yours. Uh, shouldn't, uh, should it get hurt in battle? Uh, I know every day in your new life is going to be full of exciting experiences far from home. Just try and savor them all. The, uh, the good times and the hard times, too. But if you ever want to come back home, you can't. I'm moving. <laughs> Go away. You know, you know your bed's always ready for you. Oh, all right then. You two better. Ha uh, you two uh, had better had. Uh, You've got be this, man. No, you two had better be off. I suppose I uh, take care on your way to school. I just don't know why. I just you'll, sometimes I can't read. You'll get better as time goes on. No, hopefully. I won't. I'm just stuck like this forever. Stop touching my boobs. No, <laughs> I'm comforting you, secure titties. No, your mom's nice. <laughs> she's she's something. She's really something. Oh, but I was going to teach you how to catch wild Pokemon. Come on, Pokemonos. <laughs> she's just Dora <laughs> the Explorer. Uh, she finally got out of that cartoon. Come on, Vominos! Ah, my hair. Don't ask what happened to Boots. Dude, we had Thanksgiving... I can't move. There we go. We had Thanksgiving at your your folks' house, and your niece was hanging from my hair. I know, I saw. It wasn't fun. I know, I'm sorry. And now that there's no one around, I can kick your ass! <laughs> I can beat you up, and no one can do a fucking thing. Alright, this here is Poco Path. Path. Pass. You've got this. <laughs> no, I don't. I couldn't read it in time because you clicked it. Hey, hey, a shiny! Uh, uh, ah! Are those shi No, those aren't shinies. No, no there's a... I thought it was a shiny LeChonk for a second. I was about to lose my mind. <laughs> Uh, uh, out here, things are different than in town. You're gonna see wild Pokemon out and about. Uh, they'll be on the path and in the grass and such. But I carry this spray that just kills them on sight. <laughs> uh, get too close to one, you'll have a battle. Uh, you'll have to battle. But you have Foy Coco for that, right? No, I lost him. Also, we're not doing a Nuzlocke run or anything like that. Oh god, I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen people do Nuzlocke's run, and I haven't watched any, so I don't know it's, what it's it entails. Basically, any Pokemon you catch, that is your Pokemon for the rest of the playthrough, and when that Pokemon faints, you deposit it in your PC, and you cannot replace it. So... Also, no healing. Oh! Yeah, you cannot heal your Pokemon. So, um... I'm guessing it's just the first five you catch, because I think you have to get the starters, don't you? Yeah, so it's the first five Pokemon you catch are your partners for the rest of the game no healing outside of like attacks that heal like absorb and recovery and stuff like that i'm guessing it's vital to teach your pokemon how to do that huh yeah okay uh, if you want to try to catch a pokemon you got to use a good old pokeball building suspense <laughs> i got tons have a few literally like i have metric tons of these things she gives you like 30 <laughs> All right, we got Pokeballs. Apparently in this game, the most broken item is the Quick Ball, which is a Pokeball that the fewer turns there are in a battle, the more effective it is to catch a Pokemon. So if you just throw it on the first turn. Yeah, then you have a pretty high chance of just catching that Pokemon. Damn, man, we better save up our money to get those. <laughs> um, ah, it's a pig! A Lechonk! A wild pig, the most dangerous thing alive! <laughs> Oh, what luck! Time for some learning by doing. Uh, try battling the little Le chonk. <laughs> I can't wait to see you try and do half of these names. Oh, I won't. I think <laughs> you just ran out. <laughs> <laughs> just teleported. Uh, you can try to catch wild Pokemon you are battling by pressing X and throwing the Pokeball. When you're having a hard time catching Pokemon, try to deal damage at it by throwing another Pokeball. 
get a better chance of success. Okay, I've so... played so much Pokemon. Okay, so Hang just on. burn it. No. We use tackle, because I don't want to cause too much damage. Also, Shut up. I've heard people say that this game is a matter of I'm in the wrong area. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the way you evolve certain Pokemon in this game is ridiculous, too. Like, there's one Pokemon that you have to evolve by teaching him a certain move and then making him do that move 25 times, I think. And then he'll evolve. Use a Pokeball. There's also a Pokemon in the last game that, um, the way you evolve it is it has to have- it has to get three critical hits in one fight. We got a pig. And then it'll evolve. We're gonna sell this pig. Good job. Some Pokemon just evolve in, like, really weird ways. Especially here lately. Unless you get one of those Pokemon that don't evolve. Yeah. There's one Pokemon that evolves by you turning whatever system you're using upside down. Imagine it's like, you gotta do that to the, uh, to the Wii. <laughs> to the Wii U. Uh, I don't know if there's any Pokemon games on there, but just imagine, like, turning the whole ass system upside down just to evolve Pokemon. Uh, LeChonk's data doesn't matter. It searches for food all day long. It possesses a keen sense of smell, but does not use it for anything other than foraging. Here you go, Lonnie. You may nickname the Lechonk. Um. Uh. <laughs> but like, like I and I understand why they're doing it is because I guess just having it to where Pokemon evolve at a certain level gets boring after a while. But like, I don't know, man. Some of the some of it's so complicated that you wouldn't really know unless someone told you. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, cool! They got their own like little book covers. That's actually kind of cool. I actually <laughs> like that. <laughs> Hala. <laughs> yes. I remember the fucking scene from Chowder. <laughs> when the candle guy is like, he wasn't crying, that was a war cry! Chilla! La la la! Chilla! Shut up! <laughs> he just keeps doing that. <laughs> that was awesome! You caught the very uh you caught the very first Pokemon you went for. Man, Chatter was wild. They made a rape joke. Uh-huh. But that was back back in the day. <coughs> That's true. Cartoon Network did not give a shit. Look at Johnny Bravo. I'm crummy when it comes to actually catching Pokemon. Maybe you should give me tips. Which I should... I, I want to state, people really get the wrong message from Johnny Bravo. Eh. <laughs> well, like, a lot of them think that like, he's just some, like, misogynist dude who, like, goes around. And, like, he is. But at the same time, he is... He can be a good person. Like, he cares about his mother... He respects some of his friends. Some. Some. Most of his friends are assholes. And also, it's not like he just, like, hits on them with no repercussions. Nine times out of ten, the, the joke is that he hits on them, and then something bad happens to him. Anyway, I have some more Pokeballs, just in case. Not not every catch works out. She I mean, go, we got 14 now. Dang. Because, like, half of the time, the joke is that Johnny gets, like, blown up or some shit, or beaten up. Can we get to school? <laughs> yes. Actually, it is an episode where Johnny turns into a chick, too. We get the Pokemon, then throw the Pokeball. Remember that, and you'll be fine. I like Johnny. Pokemon. Now go battle those wild Pokemon <laughs> and catch some of them! I love the one joke where he gets strapped to a table and is like, Mama warned me about women like you. I was hoping she'd be right. <laughs> uh, I didn't watch Johnny Bravo. I love Johnny Bravo. I watched so much, like, Boomerang and stuff when I was growing up. Let's meet back up at the uh, at that lighthouse over there. Y uh, you can see our school from the top. Because Adventure Time is too sexual. Nice. Uh, Pokemon you see wandering around tall grass, caves, and elsewhere. A lot of Pokemon. When you run into a lot of Pokemon, and Pokemon battle will begin. You can also start by throwing one of your Pokeballs using the ZR button. Try this tactic. Um, I don't think if there's any Pokemon in this area that'd be worth using. I got Lechonk hair. What the fuck? You need to rip them off the Pokemon. Oh, hey, I look, guess. another one. Right. Cool. Now we have 15. I do know that, like, uh, there. Oh, yeah, the the armor Pokemon. The way you evolve. Okay, look out! <laughs> Did that work? Yeah. Oh, he's miserable. But, like, the armor Pokemon, the way you evolve him is you have to beat. I think in this game, you have to beat five 
bronze on. Yeah, I'm burn. not 100% sure. Burn. You really want me to just set things on fire. Yeah, that's Well, a... guess what? That's... Oh, hey, it worked. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> okay, you win. Um, use a Pokeball. He's ours now. Oh yeah, and can't I like arrange my? I don't need to go to PCs anymore, right? I don't fucking know. Cause like I think. Oh hello. Oh right, this is how someone saw the bottom of uh, what's his name Diglett. Oh yeah. Cursed knowledge that we're not supposed to know. There is no bottom to Diglett. Here you go. What? what uh, uh, you get to nickname all the Pokemon, man. Oh no. The balls of thread wrapped around its body is a lot. Okay. Sorry. That's fine. Okay, give me a second. Um, it's hard. Yeah, yeah, sure. No. <laughs> The balls of thread wrapped around its body is elastic enough to deflect the sides of Scyther, uh, this Pokemon's natural enemy. This one's a dumb. <laughs> You're an idiot. Let's go to school. <laughs> oh yeah, you also gain XP from catching Pokemon now. How was that? Uh, it was like, oh, it's just a sleeping Yeah, one? let's go to school. Let's go to our orange school. Monty, you've made a severe mistake, and I do wonder how long it's going to take you to realize. That. What? I don't play open world games like you. Yeah, but I'm built different, don't you know? I don't. I'm, I'm Canadian. No, you're not. How do you know? I have Canadian relatives. Are you Canadian though? Mm -hmm. I knew it. You blind bastard. Go to school. No, because how else would I have found the super potion? You wouldn't have. Go to school. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a real kid. I don't want to go to school. <laughs> I want to be kidnapped by the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> we're just going to cut to when we're uh, at the school, because this is going to take a minute. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just surprised that fit. <laughs> yeah, this is supposed to be this generation's Pikachu. No, it's not. Uh, I think they really struck gold with that, like, uh, that nightmare creature. Oh, Mimikyu. Yeah, that one. Oh, absolutely. They struck gold with that one, and they're never hitting that high ever again. No, they're not. They, they kind of almost got it with Pachirisu. Uh-huh. You can just put him up on the screen. I, okay. We're playing Pokemon. I don't, I really doubt that there'd be an issue with you putting Pokemon on the screen. Oh, shit, uh, something's happening. Uh-oh. Uh oh! The girl uh -oh. comes up from behind you and slaps your ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey Ash, you're getting the hang of uh, you're getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon, okay? I I am actually. I have almost a full team. I have a... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What the fuck was that? <laughs> go oh. go ooh. <laughs> I've never heard that kind of cry before. Could it be some strong Pokemon or something? That's a Could it be that w weird thing that was flying through the sky earlier and crashed into the ocean? I say we find. Uh, I say we find whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around. Unfortunately, we gotta end the episode. Uh, just be careful. Uh, that there's a kind of unsafe cave not so far from here, so steer clear of it. But I'm pretty sure the thing we're looking for is inside of it. Let's just get through with this interaction, then we'll we'll call it an episode. And I know your, uh, uh... Rotom. Rotom phone can... You don't even try. No, I don't. Like, it, it's easy to pronounce, you just don't want to try. Uh, it can help you, uh, can help you safe? Uh, can keep you safe, sorry, I'm stupid. Uh, but watch your step by these cliffs, anyway. Isn't there not any fall damage in this game, or is that after you get your bike? I don't think there's any fall damage. Okay, but yeah, we gotta end this episode. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Pokemon Scarlet. Um, this is going to be a game with lots of long gaps of me running around and trying to find everything in an area. Um, so yeah, 
Hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.